Lately, I've been working on having MindWaves export USD, which is a new universal scene description file format from uh, Pixar and others. And uh, basically, yeah, so now Minecraft, or MindWaves rather, can export Minecraft worlds like this Cornell campus. And you can get stuff like this, which is pretty cool that you can actually, you know, get these scenes into this, uh, into this more physically based kind of modeling uh, material system. Um, actually, let me just change one thing here real quick. Is I like to uh, just change the walkway so that this <laughs> this cyan terracotta. Well, it's a little too cyan for me. So uh, this is the JG RTX uh, physically based model uh, kind of kit, um, which basically means like if you get close to things. Uh, it looks pretty cool. Like there's there's uh, normal maps and there's roughness maps and there's other stuff like that. So, for example, let's say get close to here. You can see there's all kinds of bump maps and so on. Uh, you can also see that I'm ray tracing in in real time. Basically, here's a you know here's a case where I'm getting soft shadows and I'm getting these nice bump maps and so on. And it's all you know like I say it's all real time. So, for example, let's say I. Uh, I got to kind of close down this whole tree because I touched the terracotta there. But basically, like I can take the sun and I can change the angle interactively. Uh, I can, you know, basically mess with the angles here. And what's nice is that it all just works. You know, I don't have to think about, oh, I got to change the resolution on my shadow map or something like that. It just, you know, it just plain works. Um, yeah, there's one other cool thing I can try here, which is, let's see, I think this is the one. Uh, I can change how wide the angle of uh, the uh, the sun is, so you can see like here, I've got this you know soft shadow. If I change the angle to uh, zero, I get a sharp shadow. Um, so anyway, that's just kind of the the cool thing I found with this is that you know you can actually go and play with stuff interactively. You know, it's it's an actual path tracer and so on, and so you can get these cool you know cool uh, things going on and be able to see them in real time. So for example over here there's there's this shiny building which is not actually all that shiny in real life but it's made out of this uh, iron, <laughs> processed iron. So it's all shiny and, uh, and like I say you can just move around and the reflections properly change. They're, they're doing the right thing here basically and, uh, and if you just sit there for a few seconds it'll resolve to uh, a nice you know, a nice image. And you can just hit F10 and save that image, which is pretty cool. Um, there's actually a traditional uh, real-time, you know, sort of uh, rasterization uh, system here. But I find that, for especially for large models, that the ray tracer is just fine. It, uh, you know, gives you these nice uh, renderings, and, and they're fast. They're pretty fast, or at least at interactive rates. And this is a pretty huge model. This is kind of filling up my whole GPU's uh, memory. It's about 8 gig uh, memory on the GPU. Um, but I can move around in real time. Uh, and in fact, this is sort of a mid-range card. This is a we've it's an RTX 2070 Super. So it's sort of mid-range. It's not the latest and greatest, uh, you know, 3070 or whatever. Um, but it's it's plenty fine. <laughs> and, and I love the fact that I'm basically, you know, path tracing at interactive rates and I'm just getting the right results. I don't have to you know, sort of toggle between, oh, okay, here's my OpenGL version, and here's my uh, ray trace version. And I don't have to wait, you know, 10 seconds for uh, for the renderer to give me something half decent. It gives me, uh, you know, within about a second, it resolves pretty quickly to give a nice, you know, reflection, for example. So here you can see the reflection of the trees and the water. And uh, and anyway, that's about it. And you can see as, as you wait, you get a better result. At first you get this sort of noisy result, and now you can see as time goes on, there's some uh, reflections sort of happening here that are more uh, well-defined. Anyway, that's about it. Just wanted to show that off. And uh, oh yeah, I should mention that, so the, yeah, this is called Omniverse Create. Uh, it's from NVIDIA. It's a beta. It's a little rough around the edges, but it's free to play with. So if you have an RTX card, I, I definitely recommend checking it out.